best fisherman. He catch a fish a mile wide, 80 feet in the span. He had to tie it on his boat and swim back to land to get his brother Eric to give him a hand. You hear that? That is lie. Lie? You hear lie? Teach your pussy say if you tell a lie, you're going to hell as soon as you die. You just hit this spot. I was hoping you would hit, believe it or not. The fish your father caught to you it was great. But the them small fish that father does use for bait. Lion went ahead on points in the show. Completely eliminated Mr. Depo. The next man to beat was really outrageous. He asked the judges if he could lie for us. The judges asked Lion. The lion agreed. Let everybody know we're here. You see what we're discussing? Petrochip, sandals, and a slow boat from China. We have just said that he knew a tailor comes to make a suit. The man is a master. If you show him a man coming from a corner, he could make him a suit. And don't even measure a talking about suit. Sitting down correct. Expertly made and fitting perfect. He used to sew for Shakespeare, make suit for Hamlet. Not for this day yet, make a mistake yet. You know the crowd went wild. They couldn't pull down. I said, Lion, the lion lose in the crowd. The judges brought the crowd back to order and asked the lion to lie out a tailor. He said, My man is the best. Rolf is his name. Cutting cloth, making suit is his name. Don't show him the man, my tailor is class. Just show him the corner where the fella pass. And he gonna make a King Lion. King Lion going to big old boy with the band, with the whole band, the phalanx, eh? the official Spanish translator, among other things, PRO of the PNM, Minister of Everything, and Chief Keith Rowley Bumsy Fly Stuart Young. He went with the crew, Sham Fakujo, because if you're going to deal with issues of oil and gas, you need to take Miss Hot Jump and Skip Around. This is the bullshit, and I'm not pulling punches, because those of you who are sitting down home, wearing down your rosary beads every time I come live to talk about how plain I speak, are being very deceitful and hypocritical by not paying attention to what King Liar doing. King Liar, let me deal with King Liar Jr. Can Petrotrin can bankrupt TNT. Now, this is the bullshit that is running through the common thread of Trinidad and Tobago. When Malcolm Jones died, and I said, may he rot forevermore, may the tears of every sufferer in Trinidad and Tobago torment his soul for all eternity, some PNM sycophants jump out themselves at me. And Fazil Muhammad of all people, don't tell us something. Malcolm Jones and crew raided Petrotrin, plundered Petrotrin, gutted Petrotrin. They went and sell Petrotrin a KFC dinner box that is $40 for $40 million. We bought something called a gas to liquids plant. And all you're playing, all you're following these things, eh? Under Patrick Manning, bandit in chief. All, all you want to pretend, all you're sanitizing, that son of a bitch. 
Patrick Manning. Why do you think the cathedral cross fall off? Because his son of a bitch son come out and say, bury Manning under the cathedral. The whole cathedral get weak since. It falling apart. Bury Manning under the freaking cathedral. Them fellas have to burn. Them fire go out. Them fi if you light Manning on fire tonight, it burn for a hundred years. Pull up the body and light it. I promise you that deceitful, deviant, de devious son of a bitch. Malcolm Jones under Patrick Manning took $5 billion and invested in failed technology called a gas to liquids plant. I want to show you how these PNN people bright. I go bring Bill Shiv and thing in this, you know. And I want to know the land that South Park built on. I want to get a freedom of information. Where Wayne Sturge? Somebody tag Wayne Sturge in this. Wayne Sturge, I want to know who owned the land under South Park. And I want to know how much it pay for. Because when I say I want to give poor people house for $100,000, people ask me where the land come from. Bayside Tower sitting on state land. Movie Town sitting on state land. Grand Bazaar sitting on state land. But I give poor people house. But stick a pin. I hear Stefan Reese today sticking pin too. All of you, we, we in the pin business. We bought a, an, an unproven technology, but this was part of a master plan. These PNM people don't thief and joke, you know. Them just thief long vision. Long vision. Them have a thief, a follow up thief, a re thief, and a counter thief. But right down the line, it's thief after thief after thief. Busting the country, you know. This Think Mount Franklin can. On loop tonight I'm reading, Petrotrin can bankrupt TNT. Where is the five billion dollars that PNM Malcolm Jones took to invest in an unproven technology called gas to liquids that we got Trinidad and Tobago? The people who supplied the gas to liquids plant were upfront and said. There's no guarantee this could work. There is no guarantee this will work. You could very well be wasting your money. Gas the liquids. Nobody make a jail. Nobody brought to justice. Malcolm Jones nearly get a state funeral and stink and dirty Patrick Manning. All they want to deify and sanitize that son of a bitch who blow through our second oil boom that could have put money aside for people to run for the next 200 years. Gone with that and create a 1% in this country. It is Patrick Manning and his nasty Maduro Chavez style behavior want to be test driving jet and building himself a palace in St. Anne's. It is Patrick Mervyn Augustus Manning. I mean, Eric Williams was a criminal par excellence, but Patrick Manning took an art and made it a science. Gas to liquids. When they finish, and it's like, call me boat boat. Call me boat buy a boat for $25 million. Bring it to Trinidad and spend the next $25 million by his friend and them down in Chagaramas who have boat fixing facilities. Money, 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 money. Just fix the man, write the bill. The boat never sail. It never floats. Nasty, dirty, stink son of a bitch. And that is your minister of finance. Listen now. All you sitting down quiet in this country. All all your middle class people who hoping and praying that something fall in your pot because all you is not working poor. And you know it. You can't make your mortgage. You can't make your rent. You might have to bring your children back from school. And you're sitting down there quiet. Why these people raid in this country? Come the man. Come the man. That same gas to liquids plant. Selling. A scrap iron from 5 billion to 25 million. 1% of 5 billion is 50 million dollars. We are even get back half of 1%. But wait, the sons of bitches that buy in the gas to liquids plant, buy in the gas to liquids plant as a in to bite off a chunk of petrol drink. That is what's going on. And that chunk leaving the thing exposed. So a one percenter coming to buy the profitable part of Petrochin and they go in and rock the debt 
on all of your children for the next 200 years. They're going to be taxing all you and stopping all your police. are going to be stopping all you for broken taillight and charging all you $10,000 because Trinidad looking to take money from the citizens of the country because they have no idea where to turn again to get money. When Franklin Khan is telling the nation that Petrotrend can bankrupt TNT, he knows that what is coming due now that Steve Bideshi had been warning the country about, that the bills that are coming due and all of the upgrades, you upgraded a failing company to split off the upgrade and give it to your 1% friend and leave the debt for us. But what the mother ass all the really thing going on here? What all you think going on here? So you spend Trini money to upgrade the Petrotrin refinery to give it to the 1% and leave us holding the bill for the billions spent upgrading it? Well, as we as mad jackers, big children, 1.4 million a week. Because what went on in Petrotrin wasn't a one and done thing. I hear people talking about cleaner getting $20,000 a month. If that's so, if that is in fact so, that cleaner is Patrick Manning outside child. Check and see the DNA between Manning and the, what was she was, the sorceress? Check and see that is the outside child get that, get that work. Because let me tell you something, that have nothing to do with the issue. Petrotrin is a state agency and at any point in time, if it is not being run properly, right size it. You don't have to sell it to get away from Roger and the OWTU, who is surprisingly kind of twisty with his words. I'm not understanding because if, if it was Kamala selling Petrotrin, Roger would have grow hair on his bald head to pull out. He would have forced hair to grow there so he could have pull it out of the roots. He and Abdullah, this next stunting, bought and paid for talking head, David Abdullah, would have marched till his shoe soles disappear if it was Kamala. And I don't carry no brief, all you know that. I just say that that is deceitful, deviant, devious, and hypocritical Ansel Roger and David Abdullah. Trinidad and Tobago tonight, nobody is supposed to be able to get gas. And don't tell me you're sending the army inside of there because immediately we become a police state. That is not the government company. That is a state agency. And the people and the people of Trinidad and Tobago and the people who work there have rights. And you are not supposed to be able to do what you are doing. You are not supposed, and the entire PNM, and the only reason we are not bringing the entire PNM to justice, Mr. Landate and Cleaver Heights, the only reason wrongly escaping being brought to justice is because Kamala and crew just as corrupt. So shark here biting shark, and all of all you who play any mini mini more, lesser evil, lesser evil voting, kept this country run by evil sons of bitches all along the line. All along the line. Your prime minister, who is a public servant, who answers to you, who answers to you, went Venezuela and signed a gas deal, the details of which you can know. But what the ass going on here? What is going on here? This is like my yard boys sell my house. How is this happening? And why are the people of Trinidad and Tobago so complacent? Like the people in Tobago who sit in that room and clap every time that stunting, lying, deceitful, double tongue jackass talk. Keep rolling. Shut down the super fast Galatia to bring a slow boat from China. That we really do, brother. All the cabo stand, forehand massage, and all the bullshit you wanted to do, you and Stuart Young and Chinley and Imbert and the rest of all you. Did you tell Tobagonians that fast ferry hard to find? You trying to tell me Tobago people so stupid? I have shared 
a picture on Facebook and the name of the picture straight out of Hyundai because Hyundai boasted when they did this. It was a ship, shipping ship, shipping, ship, shipping ships. It was a stack of 50 ships going up in size till the bottom big like Tobago, shipping all of that. In World War II, that was the 40s, that was 80 years ago, the United States of America, right around the corner, you didn't have to go by your partner, partner in hostel, by your p and commission agent in hostel. You could have go right there in America because they have fast ferries park up looking to rent, lease and sell. 80 years ago, they were building, fully outfitted, ready to rumble battleships coming off the line one a month. It is 24 months now, the super fast Galatia is a mess. And we can't get a fast ferry built to our specifications. Or are you deliberately bringing a slow boat so you and your friends who bought up land in Toko could sell it back to the state for an emergency to build a port to make life easy? Shock doctrine in the murders. And them, and them dotish Tobagonians. This year's time is way past time we get Tobago the independence. If Tobagonians so stupid that they taking that, cut Tobago loose. Cut it loose and who vex? Loss. Because if all, you, if all you're too stupid to come in out of the rain, we can't have no use for you. You voting. You voting in our elections and affecting who we elect to government. If you are incapable of logical deduction and critical thinking, if you can't tell jackassery and banditry from the start, if a man could sit in your presence and say, fast ferries, hard to find, and you applaud that, we have no more business to do. We have no more talk to talk. It is time now for Trinidad and Tobago to face the reality that we have a criminal government looting the country, putting friends and family in big places. The Calco that Keith Rowley mash up for Kamala getting big contract by the Peter tonight. Go and watch it. Go and watch it. It's a set of bullshit. Our money, our treasury money changing hands while political musical chairs being played and a complicit, compliant, corrupt, copy and paste media hiding the truth from you. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? The Samga that is trying to buy Petrotrain owns CNC Train, owns Guardian. So the Samga that is trying to buy Petrotrain will never give you the news. It is the same Samga that had owned Karen that nearly poisoned the people in Mount Lambert and Mount Hope. And if I and Shafle, and if I didn't bust them up, Guardian and CNC Tree was never covering it. I call Guardian and CNC Tree news, newsrooms live on social media seven days after the event and ask them why you didn't, why you ain't covering that? Karen nearly poisoned people. Why you didn't cover that? Samga News Network not covering this. Castani, Rowley Partner, who was a Diego Martin Regional Corporation chairman under the PNM, owns the Newsday. Newsday and MM Insurance is sister companies. MM Insurance getting contracts on the port. MM Insurance, Newsday not covering that. TV6 and Express are owned by a company that was acquired by the government when the government bailed out Clico and CL Financial who had the majority shares. TV6 and Express not covering that. What it left? What is left? Where is the media in this country? CNNG, C News, 91.1, I state owned. All them singing for the supper. None of it. None of the media, there is nothing in Trinidad and Tobago like real journalism. I don't give a shit those who want to compare these words to Trump. Trinidad and Tobago is different. We have no free independent media that lead in a direction. In Trinidad and Tobago, it is owned by the financiers. It is one straight line. You don't, you don't need rocket science and ad maths to know this. 
So what is going on? Keith Rowley is behaving like a commission agent of the Sandals Group. Keith Rowley, a finished shake after the earthquake, touched down in Tobago to lock down that deal for Sandals. I have never seen any government minister, any public servant as motivated as Keith Rowley is for Sandals. Why might that be so? And we, the people of Trinidad Tobago, have a public servant, that man, signed another deal, the details to which we cannot know. We are in deep, dark, and murky waters. You have a stunting junior half-price lawyer, Stuart Young, gain all the bullshit. But what is your right to know and what is not your right to know? I tell you this. Every single dollar spent out of your treasury, everything that is a national asset belongs to you and every bit of information surrounding any divestment, any investment, any selling, any involvement is for public consumption. And if the government is not doing it, fire the blasted government. I am outside the Prime Minister's office tomorrow for a one-man protest. Feel free to come and join. But I am going to say, fire Keith Rowley. I am not stopping. Keith Rowley needs to be fired. To the people who are asking me, what do we do next? There are 41 constituencies in this country. Each constituency could put up a candidate. You don't want to vote for the PP? Definitely don't vote for the UNC. We're firing the PNM. All 41 constituencies could put up an independent vote for that. That's how, the gov that's how elections are supposed to work anyway. Stop waiting for people to solve the problem. Let us solve the problems ourselves. This country needs an election. The government in power is leading a barrage of finances that are looting and plundering the nation. Up until now, I am the only person who is bringing into the public space that we do not know where our income from the pitch lake has gone for the last 12 to 15 years. Where is that money? The pitch lake alone could be mining Trinidad and Tobago. Somebody breaking off a piece and somebody else getting the rest. Trinidad and Tobago, we are running out of time. You could wake up tomorrow living in a next man house, enslaved to a next man's company, and you no longer have the rights that you think you have. Everything that is Trinidad and Tobago is on the chopping block. It is being dumbed down, broken down, made redundant so it can be sold. They're ramming this bullshit down your throat. I am saying to Trinidad and Tobago, it is time for a referendum on the government. It is time that we had a general election. Let us discuss on a national platform what these people trying to do. We have no organizations of state safeguarding you. There is no one at the side saying, wait a minute, bring that document, let's take a look. There is no public official being paid in Trinidad and Tobago whose job it is to, to add oversight to any of these transactions. We in Trinidad and Tobago are in deep, dark and murky waters. Do not sit silent. It is being taken right now. The $120 billion in income that potentially could pass through this country that is stopped and broken at Petrochen and National Gas Company is about to be stolen under the guise of a rescue. Trinidad and Tobago, it is time. It is way past time to wake them up, to wake everyone up, to talk in your office over the corner, over the wall, by your neighbor, talk to your family, tell everybody, this ain't about race anymore. Race a helping way. Race a helping way as PLM or UNC. The 99% of us that think we represented by either of those governments have been fooled for 56 years. 99% of the country are about to be enslaved. Everything that you own is about to be taken away from you. Trinidad and Tobago, wake up. It is time to wake up. Hear what I'm telling you? That Sanders deal is madness. That super, that, 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 
What just went on with that galleon's passage was broad daylight robbery. And what is about to take place with Petrotrip will destroy Trinidad and Tobago. Do not sit idly by. through this country passes through a one percent you will wake up in a country that has zero income how they diversify the economy they're taking all of the income and giving it to their partners in the one percent petrochen and ngc must not be sold petrochen and ngc must be right size must be made profitable but it must not be sold we must not allow petrochen and ngc to be sold we want a criminal corruption inquiry into the terms of sandals we want a criminal corruption inquiry into everything that went on with regards to the super fast Galatia, the Cabo Star, the forehand massage, this slow boat from China. It is time. It is time. It is but no time.
That same double tongue deceitful jackass went and lied to the people and said you can't diversify the economy. That same double tongue deceitful jackass gone to Bago and talking pep policies about marinas and hurricane belt. Keep Christopher Rowley. How I pray for the opportunity to stand together with you with a microphone and a camera on us. Let me talk to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I will expose you for the empty vessel, the charlatan that you are. You've always been all hat and no cowboy. Patrick Manning brought you into the politics as his attack dog. Like Fitzgerald Hines is your attack dog. And PNN people lapping that bullshit up because you convince them that Indian people try and eat them. It is time to fix this country. All them sorry skit bullshit that come to send all your Calcutta ship message in all your head. Stop getting chain up. Stop taking bullshit. It is time for us to stand up as one people, 99% of us. We are about to lose Tobago, the pitch rate, National Gas Company, and Petrotrin. We are about to lose everything of value in this country. Are you still prepared to sit, sit idly by while they make off with everything that belongs to you and your children? <laughs> country the 99 percent of us are made up of every creed and race and religion and class and size and height and weight and color we are not divided we are not supposed to be divided politically they've bullshitted us well and we've taken that bullshit like tonic with sucking down like medicine they divide we pnm unc and who don't fit in pnm and unc don't vote at all and while we're doing all that bullshit arguing over foolishness they're raiding the country. They are plundering the country. You are going to end up with a shell of a nation. You are going to end up with a shell of Trinidad and Tobago. All the debt. And that's how the country is going to collapse while the 1% children living nice in London town. <laughs> Where 
on the bus they were Pande ish and Steve and the airport 9 airport 11 airport 13 made off with billions of dollars as a Piaco airport project that Piaco airport project came back and bit us in our ass in our parliament under Kamala Prasad Bissessa with section 34 a law designed to free them same Piaco 9 11 and 13 and then keep Rowley with his made-up email gate that come to jail people, to collapse a democratically elected government itself built on crime and corruption. Where are we going, Trinidad and Tobago? Ask yourself today. They would say, you're talking about Gary. This is not for Gary Griffith to handle. You are living in a country where the commissioner of police job is not to deal with politicians and criminality at that level. There are no offices of state. We are broken by design. It was set up that way. There is nobody for you to turn to. This is it, us. We the people, we the 99%. And if we don't stand up, and fight for Trinidad and Tobago, all is lost. Make no mistake, they're coming down the line with this, you know. They messed up it. Your vote is what decides who gets to live and who gets to die. They are about to make off with everything. They are going with one fell swoop. While you are distracted, it is time now. This is the center of our universe. Everything hinges on what happens next. Trinidad and Tobago, we are being looted from within. The enemy is within. We are being taken apart by friends and family and finances of the government and the opposition. It is time. It is time. It is time. If it is that who you
international financiers had lent this country money and said who was supposed to get the contract to build overpriced buildings that we never needed. This country could have survived without Napa Sapa Tapa, without Taruba, without the Coover Hospital that's still not operational, without the entire waterfront. We didn't need none of that. We didn't need them financial buildings they built up in town. We didn't need nothing. That money that Manning stole, he and his friends and financiers that he fattened, that money could have been taken and rebuilt Port of Spain, a new capital in the center of the Island and end the traffic jam but the son of a bitch Patrick Manning and I hope that he is tormented for all of eternity I hope I hope that pain falling on breakfasts when she's sleeping at night I hope all of them hearing the cries of the people in this country that are suffering and about to suffer because of the nastiness of this PNM government Trinidad and Tobago make no mistake make no mistake at all what is about to happen? Plenty of people who live in on the nip and the half back of the more from CPEP and URP, all that dead in just now, you know, because they ain't gonna need your vote again. When everything gone, fire burn you. So if you think you red and ready and PNM till you're dead, or you're yellow and unsteady and you and see until you're dead, just now, when there is nothing more to plunder, pillage, or steal, they are no use for you, you know. If they are the reason why. is going to have an emergency meeting this week and we are going to discuss leading the people in nas national protests. It is time the people of Trinidad and Tobago realized that we either stand up for our country or we lose it. The Progressive Empowerment Party is hosting a massive an, an, an emergency meeting to plan massive national protests. If you would like to be part of that Get ready, organize your people, organize your shoes, organize your flag, organize your placard, organize your crew, get ready. We have to stand in defense of our country. Do not let history say that when Trinidad and Tobago was being stolen, that we did nothing in its defense. If it is
interfere with the feed, no man. Interrupt it, block it. Do all that you have to do. At no time in history has evil won for eternity. It is time now. It is time. It is people's time. Fifty-six years of PNM UNC madness. Fifty-six years of, of, of theft and corruption masquerading as governance. Fifty-six years of incompetence at the highest levels of public office. 56 years of misbehavior, corruption, and theft. 56 years. 56 years. Three trillion dollars. Yes, they're interfering with the life, Dave. Yes, they're interfering with it. They're panicking because they know it is all or nothing. All the chips on the desk, on, on the table now. All the chips on the table. Trinidad and Tobago is on you. Where we go from here is on you. But stand by. Make, your, make yourself ready. Get your flag, get your placard, get your pot and your spoon. They used to have a song, I was looking for it, I can't find it. Nelson had sing, we want we money back now, we want we money back. That is where we had to go. 1.4 million of us, we want we money back. I want to take that march all up inside Goodwood Park and Sinclair. We want we money back. Put a government in office that brings all of these criminals to justice. Auctions their fancy homes and fancy cars. Takes the jewelry off their fancy wives. If it was bought with corrupt money, it is time that we, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, got justice. Too much criminal corruption was allowed to take place in this country by every version of every government. If you want a better Trinidad and Tobago, stand by and stay safe, Trinidad and Tobago.